Transactional Analysis Part 2 How to Apply Your Knowledge About Ego States and Transactions Another important concept is the actual concept of transactions. Transactions are about how people interact with each other, specifically which ego state in person A talks to which ego state in person B. You may have noticed that sometimes communication continues in a straightforward, easy way that seems to run smoothly. However, at other times, things seem to get all jumbled up, confusing, unclear and unsatisfying. An understanding of how transactions can help you to keep your communication with others as clear as you would like it to be. First, straight transactions or complementary transactions. If person A and person B apply the concept of straight interactions, a communication can run very smoothly and, in theory, can continue for a very long time. Let's take a look at an example. We can call a transaction parallel or straight as long as, in our example, two people with the adult ego state talk to each other. Person A, what's the time? Reply from person B, it's a quarter past 11. Also, straight and complementary is a transaction if a person with an adult ego state talks to a person in the child ego state, like in this example of a child talking to a parent. It's hard for me, I can't do this. Never mind, I will do it for you. When people communicate with cross transactions, it causes a transactional breakdown. Cross transactions occur when an unexpected response is made to a message that a person sends out. They hold the potential for conflicts. In our first example, the respondent comes from a critical parent ego state to cross the transaction and this communication actually breaks down. What's the time? Reply, what? Didn't you learn to read the time? In the second example, the respondent comes from a parent ego state instead of a child thereby crossing the transaction. A. I want you to report immediately right after you placed an order. B. And I want you to pay my salary punctually. In the third example, the respondent also replies out of the child ego state and not from the nurturing parent ego state as expected. When a transaction is crossed, it results in a breakdown of communication and one or both individuals will need to shift ego states in order for the communication to be re-established. I feel very sick and me even more. Ulterior transactions are rather complex. They involve more than two ego states and a disguised message is sent. The behavioral outcome of an ulterior transaction is determined at the psychological and not the social level. In the example, the sender obviously asks the adult ego state and the respondent replies complementary with the defining meaning of the transaction takes place between the child ego states. A. Can I show you the barn? B. Oh yes, I'm interested in architecture. But the covert message is, how about a roll in the hay? Let's go on. 
The thing is that the covert message is what stays in our heads and what we regard as most important. When we learn to recognize and differentiate between straight, crossed and ulterior transactions, we increase our ability to communicate clearly with others. Conversations made up of straight interactions are more emotionally satisfying and productive than conversations that have frequent crossed transactions. Becoming an expert at recognizing ego states in straight, crossed and ulterior transactions takes time. In the beginning, you will need to pay close attention to what is going on both inside yourself and with others. With practice, identifying various ego states in different kinds of transactions becomes your second nature.